which is not, so I will swap the observe. Let's bring up the resources. Yeah, so they spawned once again across the map, actually now all the way across the map, but it uh, doesn't really matter, it's still through the underground, uh, so it will probably be a little bit longer game. We'll see how that will work for them. It's double fallen, so there can, I mean, anything can happen. They can go for hive guards, they can go for avengers. They can try to harass with uh, flying hive stingers. We can see matriarchs, nightmares and hive stingers. We can see some early push with hive, uh, hive spitters with movement speed buff. Maybe even someone will go for quick void walkers or stalkers. There is just many options. So we will need to wait and see. Uh, so who is this actually, sorry, Enya, Enya is uh, building a little bit fronter base, not all the way in the front to close this, but it's also not uh, super close to this dark fortress, uh, which might of course uh, make a difference when there is for example harassment from dropping hive stingers, they will not be able to destroy the hives, but also any units that are spawned by Enya will be spawned a little bit further away from here, so overall this makes the difference a little bit. Uh, we can see actually pretty similar thing from Fenrir here. Also not closing it all the way, but also building a little bit in the front. We already saw one game on this map. Uh, that was between uh, Makrozark and Soulskeeper, I think that was the first game. Uh, Makrozark went for the expansion here early. early, early. Fenrir maybe wants to copy it a little bit with this, with this front position of this control form, but he's not going for that yet. He's actually building a third dive, which is interesting. Maybe he's still thinking that the enemy might be here and he might go for a rush, which is not gonna work for him too well, but uh, we'll see. We see only two hives from Enya, but not really building anything else yet. He wanted to make another summoner and now he's going for Soul's Trap, so potentially Nightmares or Avengers. Yeah, of course, materials are not that strong, uh, strong in a fallen mirror because you can't make uh, skeletons. You can uh, use necromancy for most of the units of fallen. Uh, also, mana burn. Of course, it can work if the enemy fallen is playing the same strategy. Then you can mana burn either enemy materials or nightmares. Uh, but it's also not that strong as, for example, against empire and priests. Uh, then we have Curse Tree, which is uh, actually not that bad, but it's pretty expensive and uh, you need lots of materials to make use of it. Also, you need actually some trees near the position where you are fighting, which is not always possible. Uh, I mean, there are always trees around it, but uh, it doesn't have that big range, of course. And outside of that, uh, materials are not that strong. We of course have lifesteal, but only 10 damage. Pretty squishy. So... In a fallen mirror, I wouldn't go for them usually. We would rather want to spam more nightmares, but we'll see. Maybe we'll go just for Avengers. We don't see any expansions yet. We see pretty decent scouting from both of the players. Some small skirmishes here with Hive Stingers in the underground. Uh, of course, they probably know about each other's position at this point. Or maybe this is the first scout that got here. Uh, Fenrir is actually gonna ignore it. Uh, he wasn't looking there, so... This scout was able to get in here, but there are other stingers. Okay, this is the this is the worst position of incubator I ever seen. <laughs> Instead of putting it here it's for the trees, he placed it here. And even if he wanted to go for these trees, it should have been on the edge of the uh, of the area there. I mean, okay, it's not that bad, but it would have maybe made more sense here. We will see what his strategy will be. Uh, uh, of course, I mean, also, this is not the best position since we have only two trees here, but I think there was definitely some space to place it closer. We see some nice scouting. Uh, both players are on both sides of the map right now, so they see pretty easily that this is not taken. Uh, also, these expansions are not taken. Uh, everything is pretty well scouted from each side. Yeah, it's not that hard to scout with Fallen since you have high stingers that are pretty cheap and fast, so you can easily scout expansions really early on. For example, with Beast it's actually quite difficult. Borons are slow and warriors are expensive. You can of course scout with Goblin Hunters, but those cause gems, you don't really want to waste them. So the best option is probably to just scout with minions. Yeah, with Empire you can scout with Swordsman when you get tra Trailblazing, it's pretty easy. Or just with Peasants. Uh, but yeah, we see nice hybrid strategy here from Enya. 
going for nightmares and also getting Valkakun while also getting Sorrow Shrine, so he will have basically everything, but he has only three production buildings, so that's definitely slowing him down a little bit. Uh, but Fenrir is um, basically at the same position, getting a Wild Cocoon as well. We don't see any towers yet from either of the players, and uh, only one Nightmare here as anti-air. So, I mean, I'm definitely expecting Fenrir here to go for full flying units, Probably flying Hive Stingers, but maybe he will go for Hive Guards, we'll see. He's also trying to get a Dimension Gate to probably get uh, Stalkers. He's just trying to win on air at this point. Uh, and yeah, he's trying to build a ground army as well, but he's also preparing for the air as well with the Valkakun. Outside of that we still see the scouting everywhere. I'm uh, quite surprised that we still don't see a single expansion, but maybe here and yeah, he's trying to go for one with this Summoner. Probably to this location. Fenrir just checking all the entrances to the to his half of the map. Also checking this, just making sure everything is safe. Uh, also scout coming back from Enya. Yeah, so he's one injured unit, that's not a problem. Actually, he sent the summoner here, so he's prepared for the, to make the expansion later. But right now he's just pumping the resources into his units instead, which is also fine. Uh, we see Metamorphosis now, also Nail Scourge, that's of course important. Metamorphosis on the other side as well. Also one tower, but you have to keep in mind, I mean, he's kind of blocking the Dark Fortress here, that will slow his, uh, his resources a little bit, but not too much. He's actually getting an aerial, so he wants to take these expansions, and he wants to take control of the air with the Flying Hive Stingers. He has way more of them uh, than Enya, but Enya is of course the Frost Shields from Nightmares. So I think uh, Enya will still have stronger army, but not so mobile, even though it's still pretty mobile army. Of course, full flying army will be always more mobile. And to actually kill this, when he's flying, you of course want to have Stalkers on the ground. Uh, it's actually not that easy. Probably just best to splash it with uh, Avengers, even though. They take more damage from Pike. But yeah, he's definitely going to drop on these harvesters and probably kill all of them. So and yeah, I should definitely do a little bit better scouting. This high stinger is a little bit late, yeah, just like 15 seconds, and he would have scouted this. Which is really unfortunate. Now he's gonna lose all of his economy, but at least going he's going for the expansion already. So he should be able to catch up. Hopefully. He should already be producing new harvesters. We don't want to waste any time. I uh, actually uh, casted the movement speed buff from Nightmares, but didn't really affect most of his units. I think he will probably lose this Dark Fortress. I don't think he can kill the Hive Stingers quick enough. Uh, maybe, as yes, you'll see. It will be really close. Yeah, probably yes. Uh, but Enya... Oh! Actually, Enya doesn't have any resources for a single Harvester. And he has only one Harvester here on Wood, so... Actually, one more here. Now he won't have any income, he needs to definitely do the same thing here, but to be honest, Fender will be able to protect this. He's also making an expansion in the mountains. So this is not good, uh, looking too good for Enya, to be honest. He just had really poor scouting, to be honest, and he was not really prepared for this. I mean, he was standing on pretty weird position here. Uh, I mean, of course, you can be protecting the underground entrance, but you need, either need to make a timing push and just start pushing early on, uh, be on the other side of the map, because if he got dropped here, I mean, if he got attacked here by Fenrir Hive Stingers, he could have just attacked here from this side with his army, if he was there. Uh, or if he wants to play defensively and gather up some more units, then of course you need to stay closer to your base. This was the position that was, of course, good for defending this cave entrance, but since there is two of them, it's not even that valuable. And it costed him a ton of time and resources. And the question is, is uh, if even he will be able to recover from that, because Fenrir will, of course, send more attacks over time. He's even getting some extra movement speed for his Hive Stingers. Also getting Astral Node, so now he will gather up some, uh, some Stalkers as well, as I said. Already finishing his expansion even, even with a charged deformer for some extra anti-air defense. 
Yeah, he's also protected here by one tower, so his base is not uh, so easily reassemble. Yeah, so even though Enya has two expansions now, or two bases, uh, he doesn't have any harvesters here, so he's not really getting any value from that. Of course, Fenrir does know about this, but actually I'm expecting him to send uh, some high stingers and drop them here. Even though there are no, no harvesters yet. But he also doesn't need to rush anything, he also has an expansion. Probably much safer one. So he should be fine. He's actually getting a defile, okay. So he wants to blind the, uh, the nightmares with a stalker and defile. There is one scout, maybe just forgotten here, but also one in the middle, which is the important one. One scout from Fenrir in this location. No one really taking care of the uh, underground, but it's protected by neutral enemies, so no one really expects anything there. Fenrir going for this expansion, okay, I would probably just take this. But uh, maybe he doesn't want any more gems. He should be also producing more harvesters here. That's a mistake. Spending resources on other things instead of improving his economy now. When I would say he has an advantage, of course. And so, I mean, the income basically stabilized for both players right now. And I is probably still a little bit behind with a little bit fewer harvesters here, but... And they have the same amount in expansions. And this is what I was talking about. The FNR will do a push on this base as well. And I don't... F actually, I discount actually scouted this. I don't know where the nightmares are. Yeah, they are standing here. Mm, I don't know what died there. Probably just one scout. But the Fender was pushed away. Uh, or, I mean... Yeah, pushed away, pushed back. But he has the stalkers. If, they, if he took them with him, he could just one-shot all of these high stingers and it would be really easy for him. Now he's just kind of flying around, not really doing anything, getting shot by the tower and nightmares. Yeah, wasting some mana, which is good, but outside of that he didn't really do much. And he's just not utilizing his army. Oh, that's a big mistake. He's taking this expansion as well, which is good. We will see if any will also go for another expansion, but he probably wants to stabilize two bases for now. Yeah, just making a few more towers to be on the safe side. Yeah, we see another push from Fenrir, of course, and yeah, he's still here. Now against the towers, I don't think he really want to fight here. Yeah, he's just wasting his units, still not using the stalkers, so... Yeah, because to be honest, he could just one-shot this, blind the towers, and then drop the high stingers that would deal huge pike damage to these nightmares and harvesters. And uh, it will be maybe a GG if he took all of his high stingers. Yeah, and yeah, he's also not using the gold too much here. Maybe just go for another expansion, even though everything is scouted, so that will be hard. But maybe this. Uh, or he can just make more high stingers as well. But yeah, we see push on this base as well. Uh, and yeah, pretty late there with the high stingers. They should have been already here. The scouting was there, but uh, the reaction was not there. So now all nightmares will die, probably even some hive, uh, some harvesters building a tower. And now the dive stingers are coming, it's pretty late, yeah, this is super slow reaction. He's gonna lose his whole base together with some units. Definitely a huge mistake. Yeah, dropping just a few hive stingers, that was probably smart. Just to be able to come here as well, but there is more units coming. He still has two expansions protected by charged reformers. And he has the air, air control, so... And yeah, I cannot really destroy these bases. Now Fenrir is just waiting here. We will see what Enya will do with that. Actually dropping, even though there is the tower and three nightmares. Now two towers. And also a ton of high stingers, so... I think either of the players are really paying attention. Uh, neither of the players are really paying attention to this uh, location. But eventually Fenrir was forced to leave. 
actually through the underground. Didn't have mana for metamorphosis again. Yeah, so we still see some extra scouts here in the forests. Chamber of the Avenger and Sorrow Shrine, okay. Fender may be transferring to some ground, so making some high spitters, which I'm not sure why he's doing. But yeah, actually, anyway, he's going for stalkers, so. I, even though I don't think Fenrir saw this, uh, it's definitely a good move to transfer to Avengers at this point. But he still needs to maintain some air control because uh, he needs to protect his expansions. And you don't really want to do that uh, with ground army when it's in the mountains. But as I said, he has the charge deformers there. That should be hopefully enough for a few Hive Stingers. And, and he actually has charged, uh, charged uh, not charged, upgraded chain lightning spires, so uh, those yeah. deal of course chain damage, which is AoE damage, and that's killing the Hive Stingers pretty quickly. So that's also probably a reason why Fenrir actually decided to swap the strategy a little bit. Both players will now, now have some stalkers, even though Fenrir definitely have more of them. We'll make even more towers, okay. But only on one side. <laughs> Interesting. And once again, he should be producing some uh, harvesters here for this uh, gems mine. We see one expansion, at least four gold from Enea, that's good. I mean, Fender is not really doing anything now. He's not really scouting the map, he's not really harassing. He's not scouting the enemy army composition. Kinda of just sitting in the base and trying to group up some amount of units. I mean, he has the bases, so he doesn't have to play too aggressively, but I would at least be scouting the map. Now he doesn't really know anything. Maybe he wants to take his expansion, but he has resources for that. Okay, now he made it. Yeah, we see few Hive Stingers here, but Enya also doesn't really have any serious army, I would say. Just few Hive Stingers, few Stalkers, few Nightmares. And there is definitely a stronger army also if you take a look on the population, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, before before they start doing something, I will check the comments on Twitch. Uh, Krozerik talking about the win rate of Fallen, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, obviously Fallen won't have 100% win rate when you have Fallen Mirrors, so uh, obviously we couldn't count this, but uh, yeah, I mean it also depends on the level of the players of course. The stronger players will be picking Fallen and uh, average players not, and we also cannot really compare it. Yeah, some reasonable data will be in the finals and semi-finals. Outside of that is pretty random. Uh, that will be... Because they're all best players played. How is Fenrir winning? Fuck <laughs> all my money. <laughs> yeah, that is the risk if you bet on someone. Fenrir is definitely in a better position now with more expansions and stronger army. Way more population. But of course still Micro can make a difference here, if he somehow messes up a fight, also if he stays idle for too long, and I could catch up. But it seems like maybe now he will finally try to do something, we'll see. So I'm not sure about the upgrades here, yeah, 2 damage on Avengers, that's pretty decent, and 2 and 1 on Hive Spitters. And yeah, doesn't really have anything. Uh, but yeah, it actually seems like <laughs> and I was trying to expand here and... 
probably found out about this, so now he's taking all of his high stingers, dropping them here, okay, this was not the best drop, but still decent. Uh, yeah, the harvesters should die. I wouldn't focus the reformer yet, only shoots uh, air, so it's not really important. And now we are just taking free damage from the harvesters for no reason. Uh, it seems like Fender will just ignore that. Maybe make a different expansion. Okay. Right now. Yeah, still pretty passive and a ton of gold, not really spending it on anything. I mean he could use it to get some high stingers to catch up on the population. If he keeps them on the ground, uh, they should be able to actually be pretty useful here. Or if he can kill the stalkers first. Or he can just use them to kill the bases of uh, Fenrir. Uh, or he could of course spend the resources on his own bases. Maybe even get some expansions in the underground or take this and this. I just somehow need to utilize it. So he doesn't sit on nearly 2000. Oh. <laughs> Bug. As they are, I think. These two high stingers are bugged. Okay, this is interesting. You can zoom on, on them. And now it unbugged. It was bugged because of the dark fortress here that was uh, planned there but not, uh, was not building yet. But yeah, it was interesting. Stuck. Heistinger, Falling Heistinger attack animation. Uh, so yeah, Fenrir lost one base, uh, also another base got stopped, so now he's sitting on three bases when one is empty. And yeah, still has a little bit of resources here. Going to scout the stalkers actually, sorry, uh, let me unzoom a little bit. So we'll see a little bit more. I don't want to zoom out too much because then the fog is getting into the vision. Uh, but yeah, we can actually see Fenrir already pretty close to Enya's town. Actually Enya was going to the same location, so now he's getting attacked, he's going to realize what's happening. Uh, I mean this is not the best uh, position for Fenrir. Enya can deal really good damage here in this narrow place and uh, Fenrir can utilize his units. But unfortunately he doesn't have enough uh, Avengers there. If he had maybe 15 instead of 5, he probably would have killed all of this. Except the stalkers, but he doesn't really want to need to worry about them. But he has only like 5 Avengers there or 6, so that was not enough. Now he's even going to sacrifice his, his high stingers, I think. These towers will probably just get one shot by the Avengers. Even though he's taking ton of unnecessary damage to these high spitters, yeah, they will just die for no reason. Now even letting the high stingers drop there, so this was... By really poorly played by Fenrir. Both players are sitting on 2000 gold. So, no multitasking there as well. Uh, but Fenrir, of course, still has a ton of more units, so he will probably still be able to push this, even though he messed up so much. The question is if he will be able to actually finish the push, because as I said, both of them have a ton of resources, and Enya can just produce units right here, uh, while Fenrir actually needs to bring them across the whole map. I will also see if you realize about this expansion, but anyway, it's not even making harvesters there anyways. Uh, yeah, these nightmares will be pretty useful here to at least kill the high stingers. But yeah, of course, Fenrir will go there, destroy it. It's not that big of a loss since Enya didn't make the harvesters there, but at least he could maybe escape with the nightmares somewhere here. At least slow down Fenrir. Yeah, but I'm not actually sure what Enya is doing now. He just wants to spend only uh, his resources on units that also cost gems, uh, which are of course right now Avengers. But there is just no reason to not make uh, high stingers. He's also making few of them, but with 2000 gold, of course you don't need to go to zero, but I would at least spend half of it on high stingers. Maybe harass some bases, drop on this. He doesn't even have stalkers anymore, Fenrir, or he has, but at home. So, yeah, definitely. They could be doing a little bit more here. But since they are both sitting on the same amount of resources, it doesn't really influence the game that much. The main difference here is that Fenrir has uh, 50 more population taken up. Our units are dead. 
But yeah, definitely any I can defend this. You also have Void Walker now. I don't know if you already searched Freeze. But probably yes. Yeah, the problem for any ice that uh, he has only one base now, he's making a second one. This actually doesn't even have gems and even less for harvesters here, so his income is pretty much zero. Fenrir now has uh, over 1000 gems, so he has no problem with resources, maybe a little bit with wood. But he can just reproduce a huge army again if he loses something. I don't know what any I was trying to do here with the harvesters. They should have been here, but okay. Of course they will maybe die here, maybe they escaped. Yeah, Fender is just kind of standing here, probably sending new units there. Yeah, some Avengers coming through the underground, even though not too many. Yeah, he's actually saving up another, or building another army at his town. Now probably bringing it to the front line as well. Um, but he captured another expansion with Ton of Towers as well. He just needs to create new harvesters or he needs to wait for some base to run out of resources and then he can use the harvesters there. Fender is also finding out about this expansion, but and I was prepared there and was able to defend it with six high stingers. So really nice drop, of course, uh, he didn't really kill much, but he can, okay, this is really well played by Fenrir, actually. And yeah, losing ton of units for no reason there, also one Void Walker, I think. But Fenrir doesn't need to push, he can just retreat, he has more bases. Making another one, actually. So has one scout here, basically on all expansions. These stingers should definitely destroy this, but he will probably not realize to actually go scout with them. Fenrir may be even going for this as well. Or he wants to... Actually, maybe, no, I don't think there is anything. We would probably see it. Or I probably don't see it because I'm watching from the perspective of uh, Enya. So maybe there is uh, Avenger in the aerial, we will see. Yeah, there was Avenger and two High Spitters, all at half HP. So he should definitely drop the High Stingers there, I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, but of course first kill the Avenger and just finish it. Towers are also finished. Fenrir actually clearing this underground base. Still a ton of units, but Enya as well. Both are still sitting on 2000 gold, but Fenrir also has the gems so and full population, so he's in a much better state. We see a summoner here, but not building expansion yet. And yeah. Fenrir is wasting ton of resources on towers. Of course, the expansion will pay it uh, back, but it will take some time. So I'm not sure about it, but okay. Uh, there is a stalker. We see some stalkers roaming around the middle of the map. Probably going here. He wants to blind the towers, I think, but he doesn't really have anything else to actually destroy them. So I'm not sure what the strategy is here. Yeah, he cast the de uh, decay and probably file and flew away. Uh, decent push, push from NA, but four towers will just kill the high stingers, even though they will be kill, able to kill most of the, uh, most of the harvesters at least. Uh, sorry guys for boring game. Uh, yeah, I mean, not much is happening here, but to be honest the main problem I have with this is that it's taking too long and we won't be able to finish the games today. And to be honest I'm really getting kind of worried that we won't be even able to finish the tournament tomorrow, even if we play both days for like eight to nine hours or something. But we'll see. We still didn't finish the first round, so now it's hard to judge something. But there is after this there is one game left, so 
if we finish this and the game after that in like half an hour, then it would be uh, what four hours I think from the beginning of the stream. So that means one round would take four hours. Mm, then if we finish the second round today, we would still have two rounds for tomorrow and then we also need to play the semifinals and finals. So that would mean at least three days for the tournament. But maybe the games will get a little quicker. We are also spending some time figuring out the uh, technical issues. So we'll see. Uh, how many games have been played so far? I think so five. This is the sixth game, I think. You can do a quality for the next tournament and then have a tournament with only eight players or something. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely planned for some tournaments. I, to be honest, I didn't expect the games to take so long. Also, it's dependent on the map, but, but to be honest, even the games we played on smaller maps, they just took forever. Yeah, I mean, the smallest map we have, uh, the height, like, what is it? Lake height, I don't know, the first map for uh, that is the bridge that is a little bit unbalanced. Uh, that's the smallest map we have and uh, they played for 40 minutes there, so it's not even about the size of the map. It's just straight up about the play style. <laughs> and everyone is playing really defensively. And to be honest, this could take another hour yeah, if they just sit in their bases, but fortunately NA is finally going for a push. Even though he has six less population, and he has the gold, I still don't understand why he's not really using it. But okay, I mean he doesn't have population and doesn't have wood for uh, for summoners. But as you can see, he has some summoners that are not even in control form. We see push from Fenrir on the other side. The research is complete. Uh, Fenrir, boring is my specialty. Yeah, we know that. Always on community streams, Fenrir is building bases and not really doing anything. But yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen here. Uh, actually, Fenrir probably scouted him with some control forms that scouted through the under, through the through the levels, yeah, just to the underground. So he knows about this. He's retreating, and that probably kind of. Removes the chance of any actually doing something here. Uh, both of them have uh, summoners here, also interesting. I mean, if Fenrir will keep going here like this in a straight line, one by one, he could actually die to the Avengers. But he will probably regroup and eventually push this. He has more Avengers. Of course, you cannot freeze them. He also lost all of his units here. I mean, if uh, if any I had decay on Void Walker, maybe he could have destroyed this, but he still didn't have strong enough front line for anything like this. Have yeah, you seen nice push from Ice Stingers in the back? But what does he want to destroy? Yeah, I mean, 3,000 gold but zero gems, so I don't think he can win this anymore. So we will call it GG, of course. So yeah, uh, another game finished, Fenrir is actually the winner, 40 minutes again, okay. I mean, during this time we should finish three games, yeah, that is what it was planned, how it was planned to actually finish all the games, because average time of one, one or two v2 is 15 minutes, but of course if games will last three times longer, <laughs> we probably won't finish it. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see, if, uh, 133 kills. A little bit less losses, but pretty balanced on both sides. Fenrir just had more resources. You can see it here, 6,000 gold. And mainly, almost 4,000 more gems. And also done more researches here. Probably more experience, so more leveled up units. So in the end game, it was not too much chance for any anymore anyways. 